Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Welcome back to the channel. Thomas Party and Atletico Madrid have been knocked out of the Champions League last night. RB Leipzig, with their 33 year old manager, knocked out Diego Simeone's Atletico Madrid, who have already been to two finals in the Champions League out of the competition at the quarter final stage. Unfortunately, Thomas Partey did not take part in this game. He was on the bench and was not risked entirely for this encounter. Leipzig can make it to their first ever semi final in the Champions League. Yeah, it's quite an amazing story there by RB Leipzig. Today, we're going to talk about Thomas Te Party and the reaction of Ghanaians following the comments by the Ghana Black Stars coach Sike Akono. In an interview I brought you yesterday, he was queried on whether he thought the party deal to Arsenal was something he would encourage and his opinions on that deal. He stated emphatically uh, that Thomas Party should not make that move and many Ghanaians, Arsenal fans across the world took to social media to vent their anger at the Ghana Black Stars coach for telling or saying that on radio. Arsenal have said already that Thomas Partey's second bid for him will come after they've exited or after the Champions League campaign for Atletico Madrid is over. It is over now and we'll be looking at the coming weeks what will happen also we're looking at Mohamed Salisu he has now joined Southampton the official announcement has come out and he has penned an emotional farewell message to Real Valladolid fans and family he made there whilst being playing at the Spanish club as usual if you're new to the channel I advise you to subscribe to the channel and to click on the notification bell to get more updates smash the like button also it helps the video go further so we all know last night the champions league game that took place between atletico madrid and rb leipzig and that means leipzig for the first time will be facing psg in the semi-final on tuesday it's going to be amazing the finals and the semi-finals are being played in lisbon and it's a one-legged format tonight barcelona will take on Bayern Munich uh, to find out who will be facing Lyon or Manchester City who play on Saturday. But that's beside the point. Thomas Partey's Atletico Madrid are now out. Arsenal now can make the second bid and pursue uh, the Ghanaian fully. But this has to do with a comment passed by the Ghana Black Stars coach uh, CK Akono. In an interview, he was asked whether he thought the party deal was something that he would encourage. And this is what he said if you had the chance to advise him would you want him to move to arsenal in england or stay in spain no oh, that's a difficult one i i honestly i wouldn't want him to move to arsenal why why because with atletico he will always play champions league always he will be in the champions league he has uh, uh, chance to play every time his position is guaranteed mm. he will play okay he's doing well i'm not too sure uh, arsenal fans will kill me away yeah. <laughs> too sure if arsenal will qualify we'll get the champions uh, let's hope oh, we don't uh, give up so, uh, oh, of course. <laughs> so so this this will be this my, are, okay uh, so you would want for him to stay in yeah. spain he said he would tell thomas party to stay at atletico madrid because he doesn't feel arsenal can grant him champions league football and that is his reason for saying that he feels atletico madrid are better than arsenal for the Ghanaian. yeah many people did not take this soundly they did not take this well at all especially arsenal fans on social media they took to social media to vent their anger at the Ghanaian coach for saying that and i personally didn't think it was necessary for ck akono to comment on that question he could have easily said that the decision entirely rests on the player and that it's up to him to make his decision as long as he feels he'll be getting playing time i think the onus is on him to choose which one is beneficial to him and his career moving forward he did not need to emphatically state uh, that thomas party has uh, to stay or leave let's go madrid but some of the comments that were coming in ck akono really 
was lambasted. He said, CK Akono, one comment here said, CK Akono must apologize to Arsenal supporters. Your comment on parties move to Arsenal is childish talk. How many of your Black Stars players can walk into gen great Arsenal squad apart from party? Massa, make we think what it. <laughs> Another guy said, where should he go? The guy isn't paid well at Letico. He's got to make money and forgot this cliche surrounding the whole thing. It's a pity to put Ghana first when taking decisions now. Your sacrifices will amount to nothing because we have greedy leaders who ruin everything. I don't know how the greedy leaders come in here, but basically I think he's trying to say don't follow the advice of people without doing due diligence. That's how I got it. If Arsenal brings in offer for CK Akono to be a ball boy, oh, he will wait for no time. This is just ignorance. Wow. Oh, no, I think that was a bit too far. But please, oh, is CK the father of Thomas Pate and uh, to choose where he should go and where he should not go to? And now uh, he should be mindful of how he is going to help us to win the AFCON because it's been ages since we won it. Coach Pa saying this publicly, this coach needs wisdom of speech, showing signs of failing the Black Stars job already. Coach CK, you to train your child to be like Pate and let him play at Tano Bofakosa. Silly talk from a supposed educated and progressive coach. Wow. These Ghanaian ex players think they know more than anybody. Eh? I haven't seen this level of ignorance before. Aren't players bought to improve a team? If, in your mind, if he goes to Arsenal, he'll cease to be a good player. He knows Ateta is a good coach. Wow. He demand. <laughs> is that coach better than Ateta? What does he know in managing or coaching a player? He should better shut up there and concentrate on his coaching career without a trophy instead. Tell him I said that. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's so many so many people are busting. Y'all being on CK Akono's neck, I bet you didn't even tap on the link to read the content. He said he shouldn't go to Arsenal if he wants to play in the Champions League regularly. And he isn't wrong to say that. Let him think. And it's not as if Arsenal is better than Atletico. And that is how the, <laughs> so many fans were lambasting CK Akono for suggesting that Thomas Party should stay at Atletico Madrid. It's, it's quite sad. Some were saying CK Akono as a player did not play for a great club like arsenal it's sad some also agreed with what he said and one comment here saying it's a great advice to a football player don't join arsenal ck is very right on this one Pate will flop hugely if he makes the mistake to join arsenal whilst at it tell the are you brothers to leave their clubs another comment also said yet you want Edin Ketia from arsenal to come and play for ghana what is the wisdom in this advice anyway let's hope enemies of progress so a lot of varying opinions on what ck akono said but i stand with what i said at the start he could have ignored the question and said the honors is on the player whether he get enough playing time is on him whether arsenal will offer a better deal is on him i think arsenal might offer more money for thomas party two hundred thousand pounds potentially is what could be agreed on now that let's go madrid are not in the champions league arsenal can't pursue him fully gang ho they can go all out and pursue him if they want him they can get him I, sh I i can be sure of that if the offer is good thomas party's representatives would not be in quote stupid not to look at it and consider it and after all at the end of the day that is what they are looking out for the interest of their player and i think the Ghanaians who are angry are obviously arsenal fans who need an improvement in their team getting a bit emotional there it doesn't have to be that personal ck akono even though he shouldn't have said his opinion is entitled to his opinion you can't fault him for saying that a lot of people have said it but as the coach of the black stars he should have held his horses and tried to restrain himself from responding to every comment in that interview but hey it is what it is and he said what he said let me know what you think in the comments box and CK Akono on what he said are these people right to lambast him like that and what do you think finally I move to my next story and it has to do with Mohamed Salisu two days ago he made his move officially was announced as a Southampton player by the official social media handles of Southampton Football Club Mohamed Salisu 
spent most of his time in Spain with Real Valladolid. He has penned an emotional farewell letter to the fans of Real Valladolid. Now, Mohamed Salisu is now a Southampton player. In a message on his post in his official Instagram page to confirm his exit from the club to the fans, it read as follows. Today, I am writing you this letter. First of all, to thank you for all your constant support from day one. I want to thank all my teammates, coaches, and all the staff on this wonderful of this wonderful club. I also want to especially thank my coach, Sergio, who has given me the opportunity to play for La Liga despite my little experience. He put his trust in me and I will always be grateful for every opportunity he gave me. Also to my teammates for pushing me and making me a better player and for trusting me from day one. Of course, I also want to thank the president, Ronaldo, very much. For me, it has been a dream to play for someone who has achieved so much in football. I would also like to thank all the fans. You have been incredible to me and I am very grateful to all for all the love you have shown me. Thanks for your patience and encouragement. You have always pushed me to get my confidence high and you have always made me feel so loved, both on and off the pitch. Now another opportunity has presented itself and it has always been my dream to play in the Premier League. As I leave Real Valladolid to continue living my dreams, I carry on with a heavy heart leaving this incredible club. I came here as a child and I am leaving as a man. I do it with the hope that you will always remember me as a good person and a true professional who happily gave everything for the jersey and this great club. When I leave and move on to my next challenge, I will always have you close to my heart and I hope that one day we will meet again knowing that we have all done great things. Thank you so much to everyone. Alpa Kosela. So that's a message there from Mohamed Salisu to Real Valladolid fans and teammates and the coach of Real Valladolid who gave him an opportunity and the owner, Ronaldo, Brazilian Ronaldo. So that has been it for today. Many Ghanaians are lambasting Sikia Kono for his comments on Thomas Partey's move to Arsenal. Thomas Partey can now be pursued fully by the Ghanaians. They are out of the Champions League. Atletico Madrid, I mean. Let me know what you think in the comments box. An emotional letter by Mohamed Salisu to his teammates and fans of Real via the lead. I'll see you guys in the next one. Enjoy your weekend. And tonight, Barcelona versus Bayern Munich will be doing a live watch along. So watch out, watch out for that one. Subscribe and click on the notification bell. We will be live to enjoy that match together.